Hey, what's up, every? Hang on a second. That's better. Hey, what's up, everybody? Ryan Nelson here. I'm gonna show you how I made my April Fool's video. If you don't remember it, it was this one right here. And let's get to it. All right, to start off, I wanna give a huge thank you to the guys over at Aperture who shared my video and got me some insane amount of views in just a couple of days. So uh, thank you guys a whole bunch for that. I love reading all the comments, the positive ones, the ones that know this is a joke. Uh, the negative ones are pretty funny too sometimes. Um, guys, this wasn't serious. I did not ruin a camera in this shoot. And I had quite a few uh, messages asking me how I made this video, so I want to share that with you guys um, and I will show you how I did that. It was actually pretty easy. It was one of the easier things I've done in, in Premiere Pro. Okay, to start, you need kind of a ruined camera. Uh, now I know not everybody has one of these. I had a boating accident a little over a year ago and lost a bunch of gear to the river. Uh, a little bit of it got recovered and the camera body was one of them. It was completely trashed after spending a week in the river. So no cameras were harmed in the making of my April Fool's video. You guys don't worry. I didn't, I didn't break a camera. I didn't ruin a camera that I could have given to somebody. Um, believe me, if I had a really good camera sitting around and I wasn't using it, I would give it to somebody who could. I wouldn't just throw it in the water just because. Okay, that's out of the way. It was a ruined camera. Everybody can breathe. To do this shoot, I needed three camera bodies. I needed one that was a completely trashed body. That's the one that went into the water. Yes, I did doubt myself when I put it in there. I said, oh, I hope this was the right one, which it was. And I needed two functional cameras. Uh, one to make it look like I was actually using a real camera. And number two, to shoot the whole thing. So I rigged up the slider in my kitchen overhead uh, over my counter so I could go from a full counter shot and slide it directly over into a full sink shot. Uh, sink full of soapy suds. I think we actually used some bubble bath uh, to get those suds really to, to suds up and make it look cool. So I had my wife help me with this one. Um, she worked the slider as I worked the cameras. Uh, we went through a couple of dry runs, no pun intended. I, it was actually pretty easy because I slid over with the slider and I could see the slider at the top of my view and I had the camera in my hand so I just kind of matched the pace of the slider as it slid over. So we actually did two takes with the real camera and two takes with the trash camera. Now on the slider I actually put stops on both ends so I could go back and forth and be very consistent with with the framing of both shots. As for lighting, I used mostly natural light. I had a couple of the M9s, the little Aperture M9s, as uh, accent lights. Other than that, I just had a big white card and, uh, and natural light. So once you have all your clips shot, you want to take those into Premiere Pro. Remember, keep your files organized. If you wanna see how I organize my files, I'll link it here when it's done. All right, so go to one of your clips, right click, new sequence from clip. And what you're looking for here is two clips that, uh, that the timing lines up. So we got one here where, with the real camera where I stay pretty centered frame the whole time. So what I wanna do is go back to the beginning of that one. Go ahead and cut. Delete everything previous. And then go to the end of that clip before I dunk it in the sink because I don't want to dunk this one because it is a very good working camera. So I'll cut that and now we bring in our ringer. The old 5D Mark II that got lost to the river. Did a couple of dry runs on that. Again, no pun intended before I actually took it over into the sink. And this one I say pretty center frame too. So I want to go ahead and cut here delete everything in the middle because I know I don't need that. And here's where I wash the camera, wash the camera, scrub the camera, wash the camera. For the purpose of this video, I can cut right here, delete that. What we wanna do is bring these two clips together and find a point 
say maybe right here, where you can see the top of the camera and this distinct line of the sink. Bring the end of that clip over and then go find roughly that same spot in this clip, which is about here. Bring the end of your clip over and put them together. So if we just play that, it's a little glitchy, but it's okay. It's not too bad. Look at that one more time. It's got a little glitch. So the camera was at a slightly different angle. So to fix that little glitch, I'm gonna bring the second clip back. Just 0.01 tenth hundredth, whatever it is of a second. <clears throat> Come back and play that again. The glitch is much less noticeable. It's still there, you can definitely still tell. But if you look, that's getting pretty smooth. That's getting a lot smoother. So all I did for this one, right click that, go down to time remapping, check speed. Do that on both clips, time remapping, speed. So then what I did is I went back to the first clip and right as I started moving, hit P on my keyboard, put a point right there. I hit V on my keyboard. And then you can drag, drag that out a little bit. Come over here and speed ramp that. I think I s did a hundred, about 125%. So I did the same thing on the second clip. Right as I was going into the water, that's where I put my point on the second clip. So once again, hit P to put your point. You can zoom in a little bit. Go back to V and you can control your speed ramp here. Match that speed, 120, 126 I think that was. So if you click on this guy and drag these little arms around, you can actually smooth out your speed ramp. I'll go do the same thing on the first clip. Smooth out that speed ramp a little bit. Now I'm gonna grab my clip and bump them together. Go back over here and play. Set the lens down. Okay, that's still a little glitchy. So what we're gonna do now is change the spot where the transition happens. Bring it back over here. And that's actually the camera's in roughly the same position there. So we're gonna play that and see how that looks. Now that, that's gold right there. All that is, it's a little speed ramp. Let's try speeding it up just a little bit more to see what kind of effect that gives. 175. Bring those two clips back together. Put your playhead back before, hit play. Okay, so I think that is a really good transition. I mean, you're not really gonna know. It's a little funky, but if you watch it, I mean, that's really hard to see that transition there. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I did this on the real camera, I did not have the strap over my thumb. As I transitioned to the second camera, I had that strap in the wrong spot. It's a little details you guys need to watch out for. Even I, I miss them all the time. But I don't think it was enough of a, a distraction to, uh, to notice. Open our sensor, bring our camera over, dunk it right in. That is how you fake something in Premiere Pro. So guys, that's all there was to it. Just a little speed ramp uh, and just a simple cut. I didn't, didn't even throw in a crossfade or morph cut transition, anything like that. Just a speed ramp, little bit of perfect timing, and that's all there is to it. Uh, like I said, I didn't ruin any functional cameras while making this or the making of the making of this. I'm gonna take all these serious comments of seriously, did you trash this camera for a video? As it came out pretty well. So <laughs> get out there, like fake something. If you guys come up with something else, I'd love to see what you come up with, tag me in it. If you guys like this video, please subscribe below. 
leave me some comments, ask me questions about what I did, or maybe I left something out. Ask me, I'm more than happy to help you guys out. So thumbs up this video if you like it, and I will see you guys next time. That's a water damaged camera. Squeak, 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 squeak. This camera's full of river grime. Ew, ew.